In today's lesson, we'll be learning about and practicing multiple representations of division, meeting the requirements for TEKS 6-2-E. In this lesson, we will talk about the four ways in which you can represent a division problem. You can represent a division problem using words. And if you use words to describe your division problem, that's called a verbal description. I'm using words to verbally describe my problem. I could use the division symbol. You'll remember that it looks like this. I could also use the long division symbol, which sometimes we call the house, and it looks like this. But I can also represent a division problem using a fraction. The fraction bar means I'm now going to divide my numerator by my denominator. The four ways to represent division are verbally using words, the division symbol, the long division symbol or the house, or as a fraction. Let me show you some examples. The verbal description simply uses words to describe your division problem. For example, I could have the problem 8 divided by 2. 8 divided by 2 could also be described as 8 divided into 2 equal groups, or 8 divided into groups of 2. All of these descriptions properly describe 8 divided by 2. If I have 8 divided by 2, my quotient or solution will be 4. If I had 8 divided into two equal groups, each of these equal groups would have 4 in them to make 8. Or finally, if I divided 8 into groups of 2, I would have 4. 4 groups of 2 would make 8. In each of these three verbal descriptions, I have a dividend of 8, the dividend and a divisor of 2, making my quotient 4. Using the example from our previous verbal description, 8 divided by 2 can be represented using the division symbol. 8 is my dividend, and 2 is my divisor. 8 divided by 2. I can also represent 8 divided by 2 using the house or the long division symbol. 8 as my dividend divided by 2, my divisor. The divisor is outside the house, while the dividend is inside the house. 8 divided by 2. And then finally, as a fraction, 8, my numerator, divided by 2, my denominator. 8 divided by 2. 8, my numerator, is my dividend. And 2, my denominator, is my divisor. 8 divided by 2. Let's go ahead and wrap up this lesson. We know that verbally, I could have 8 divided by 2, which means I could have 8 divided into 2 equal groups, or 8 divided into groups of two. 
all of these verbal descriptions accurately describe 8 divided by 2. I can use the div division symbol, 8 divided by 2. The long division symbol, or the house, 8 divided by 2. And then finally, I can represent this division problem as a fraction, 8 divided by 2. These are the four ways to represent division. Verbal description, division symbol, the house or long division symbol, and a fraction.